Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the Gig and Erica podcast. We missed a couple. Was it a couple or was it? A- we have not been good. We've been posting like two a month and that's it instead of four. Yet we've been very dedicated to streaming on Twitch. Yes, that's taken up most of our time. And then suddenly it's Sunday and we're like, oh, we didn't do a podcast. Yeah. So if you miss <laughs> us, check out our Twitch channels. They're linked below in the yeah. description. Um, we really enjoy just hanging out and chatting and playing games, mostly chatting. Yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> um, last week I was so excited because I was like, we can film a birthday podcast for me because my birthday was on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't do it. We'll just say we took the week off because it was your birthday. Sure. <laughs> That's the official statement. Yeah. And then the week before that. We were camping. We were camping. So we can talk about that a little bit, too. That was fun. That was really fun. We we needed to get away. <laughs> yeah. We went to Cumberland. Well, Courtney, Cumberland, Comox. Um, well, no, we... we stayed in Courtney, then Cumberland, yeah. then Tofino, then Arrington, Arrington, and then Courtney again. Yeah. All on Vancouver Island, BC, yeah. Canada. Yeah. Courtney is where I grew up, so we stayed with family the first night, and then we went to a campground in Cumberland. And yeah, we had never been, uh, we've been together for almost six years, and we have never camped together. So that was a cool first. first. Um, And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. I think we we should go, we should plan another camping trip. I don't know if we'll do it this summer. Maybe. Depends. I think work is going to come back for me fairly soon, so hopefully I'm going to be busy with that. Yeah. Then I'm going to be juggling work, streaming, and school, so... You can do it. I can do it. I will... I can do it. Yeah. What was... You hadn't been camping in a long time either, right? No, for me, it was, like, my family, my mom's side, we say that we go camping, but then we stay in cabins, you know? Sometimes we do camp in tents, but it's, like glamping you know we're not struggling whereas like my dad it was like like let's go out to the middle of nowhere and like not go anywhere else and just you know like basically i I don't know how to describe it like your dad was hardcore camping yeah it was like two two ends of the spectrum and like i'm not saying either of them were bad or either of them were like you know worse than the other it's just the two very different experiences growing up of camping, with camping, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it would be a lot of work. Um, but it was kind of, like, a good amount of work. Like, it was tiring at the time, but then I was, like, really proud of myself for doing it. Mm-hmm. So. Well, that's mostly what camping is about. It's about the gratification of... I did it. I yeah. did the thing. <laughs> yeah. And and that's that's kind of what it was for us, too, because we... We... We're struggling a little bit. Yeah. The first night was fine, and then that morning it started to rain, so we were kind of scrambling to make sure Yeah. It, we everything wasn't too wet. And then when we got to Tofino... Well, no. The thing is, we looked at the weather for Tofino, mm-hmm. like, a couple days beforehand, and it said sunny. And then that morning in Cumberland, when it started to rain, we were like, oh, we should check the weather for Tofino, and it said it was going to rain. And we were like, what are we going to do? Like, yeah. you know, like, how do you set up camping when it's already raining you know like we we had no idea what to do it was kind of like throwing ourselves into like we thought it was going to be beautiful weather the whole time we could easily do one night in one place and then two nights in another place then one night in another place because it was it would be like warm and we could just relax but no (laughs) it's not what it was like (laughs) yeah at least we bought that tarp though yeah we kind of like as we were preparing to go camping i was like hey we should probably buy a tarp and so we bought, like, a 9 by 12 tarp from Walmart. It was really handy. And it was perfect. And uh, we, when we got to Tofino and it was raining, we were like, what are we going to do? The, and our, our uh, camping spot was not the best. It oh, was really it was tiny, so really, like, uneven ground. So I was like, okay, let's... We found a piece of rope on the campsite. And so we're like, let's try and, like, hang the tarp up. I had never done that before camping. Oh, my so. God. I was like, I have an idea. Tie the rope to the, to a rock and uh-huh. throw the rock over the over a tree branch and then pull like the rock will come down and you pull it get the tarp up. We almost hit the car. The rock 
we it got stuck so we pulled it off and it was like two inches away from hitting our car and we were like okay <laughs> we have to do this a different way <laughs> yeah especially considering we're like considering we're like still kind of new car owners yeah like we just our, got our car last october our so. car is almost a year old yeah, it's so. not even a year old yeah yeah man i like almost had a heart attack yeah <laughs> <laughs> um the thing is the map of our campsite in tofino it, the the what are they called site numbers would be different colors depending on their size. Mm. So, like, most of them were, like, the same color because they were all the same size, and there was, like, bigger ones, and they were a different color. And then there was ours and one other site that was another color. So yeah. we got literally the smallest site on the whole thing. Well, Us and one other site, we were the smallest. When ones. I was booking it, I didn't realize that that's what it meant because Me they didn't either. really make it clear on the website that that was, like, here's the color codes no. of, like, the sizes of the all they they didn't even say the size of the of the site they just said oh site 39 is available as long as your car is and or as long as your tent is under this many feet you're fine and mm -hmm. we were like oh it ours is so it's fine yeah we didn't realize that meant that's the only size tent that could fit there yeah you know i thought it was just like a restriction thing but when we were setting up the tent we were just done setting up the tent. With the wolf thing? The, well, okay, so we get there, and they're like, okay, just be careful with, like, leaving your food out and stuff like Like, basic camping stuff, right? Because they said the the golf course next door has a pack of wolves that lives on it. And I heard that, and I was like, oh my god, there's wolves? Like, I got scared. I wasn't worried at all, because um, the campsite was, like, packed. Like, there was tons of people, and I noticed right away there were people, like, leaving stuff out. So, okay. If we don't leave, if we don't leave stuff out, other people are gonna. So obviously, it's either a lot of stupid people or it's not that big of a deal. And so we were setting up, and then this, I felt this thing. Uh, I, was, I like, was inside the tent. Dave was hand. standing right outside the door yeah. of the tent. I felt this thing kind of brush against my hand. And I looked over, and it was this big, huge, gray, shaggy dog, like huge dog. I... And Erica like almost had a heart attack. I was just like. Oh, a dog. But it, I didn't really think about it, the wolves. I, like, I first thing I thought was wolf, and I lost my breath, my air. Like, <gasps> like I <laughs> I couldn't breathe. Well, see, the thing is, if a wolf was going to attack me, it wouldn't just walk up to me and sniff. It was just standing there. No, I... it wouldn't just walk up to me and sniff my hand. No, I know, but it, I wouldn't know it, it was suddenly, coming. I suddenly look up. I saw movement. I look up, and it was like, <gasps> you know, yeah. like, I, oh, Jesus. I mean, obviously, I didn't have the any kind of fight, flight, or freeze reaction. I just had a... Oh, I had a freeze. I had a like. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. That was. <laughs> yeah. We watched. We downloaded Ponyo. And we watched that over yeah. the course of like three nights. It yeah. was really nice. It was. We watched a lot of Survivor on that trip. We yeah. watched, I think, two seasons. Which I don't know if we've mentioned this in a recent podcast, but we've been watching a lot of Survivor. We're on season nine now. We're taking a little break. <laughs> yeah. Just because we haven't really had time to watch yeah. it, so. But yeah, we watched it from the beginning. We watched all the, like, I got so pulled into it. I used to really hate reality TV, and I still kind of do. But Survivor, I guess, is a little bit different. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of what started us wanting to go camping. Yeah, probably. Oh, I've been saying for a couple of years I'd like to go camping, but you yeah, were Yeah, but were I like, was no. against it. Yeah. Um, well, no, what started it was I saw somebody went on a trip, like a camp camping trip, in quotations but they were just in their van the whole time they rented a van and they just slept in the back and i was like gig if we're gonna go camping we're going car camping and, and that was our plan that was our original plan and we booked our sites thinking that we weren't gonna have a tent mm -hmm. and then my dad was like i have three different size tents if you guys want one and gig was like yeah let's do it and i was like okay sure we'll, we'll tent camp but i don't think i will ever again <laughs> the last night so then the last night we did sleep in the car because yeah. I just couldn't be bothered for one night to set up everything we were and tired. put it back away. So what we just did was took everything that we didn't need that wasn't like, you know, food and stuff and put it underneath the, um, the well, the last night we were at a provincial campsite. So it was mm -hmm. a lot nicer. It was. Um, we put it underneath the, uh, like the picnic table and I covered that with the tarp mm -hmm. and like nailed it down and Except stuff. the food, of course, we had in the car. Yeah. We're safe. We're, we're good. We're good campers. campers yeah. And the car was good. It just got a little bit hot. 
Um, but other than that, it was fine. I think the one thing that I actually liked about sleeping in the tent was that it was cold. Because no matter what, I overheat at mm-hmm. night. So it was it was a nice, like, balance for me. I had, like, not a bad sleep, but I woke up a million times no matter where we were sleeping. Whether it was in the tent or... Whether it was in the tent with good weather, in the tent with rain, in the car. Like, I, I woke up so many times. I could not get, like... And it wasn't a bad sleep. Like, I still woke up... And, like, I wasn't, like, exhausted, you know? I was tired, but, I mean, like, I don't know. Well, that was the one thing I noticed about camping was we'd go to sleep at our regular time that we'd go to sleep, mm-hmm. like, a little bit later. And then we'd wake up at, like, I'd wake up at, like, 5.30 I know. or 6. Uh. But I'd be fine. And I think it's something to do with, like, the natural light. The crows. And the crows, like, the, the wilderness, kind of like the, not the wilderness, but you know what I mean? Like, the wildlife, that's what I meant yeah. to say. Around you kind of acting as a natural timer natural alarm natural clock. alarm clock and i don't know what it was but i wasn't as tired i had more energy for things even though i was like i was i'm, I'm tired all the time yeah right tired of certain things in the world <laughs> <sighs> oh sorry yeah. pardon me and then so that was our camping trip and then the next weekend was erica's birthday yeah last sunday july july 12th was my yeah, birthday a week ago I was emotional. I don't know why. I just, You're always I, emotional on your birthday. Yeah, I never really have good birthdays. Like, I find, um, even if I try to set my expectations low, they still somehow don't, it doesn't turn out great. Which, like, it's nobody's fault. Like, I know my mom's probably watching this, and it's not your fault. Like, it's nobody's fault. It's just, it, sometimes it just be like that. And, like, I had... I had great times afterward the day like I had I did have a good birthday in the in like I had like a really nice meal at my dad's you mm-hmm. know but just like the day itself I just have find it really hard for myself to to be able to celebrate my birthday I don't know why um but like the next day um you know my best friend took me for lunch and then the day after like gig took me for dinner and the day after that um you know, I went to my mom's for for dinner. Like it, it's 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 been like a nice birthday week. Yeah, you had like a really nice birthday week, and yeah. I mean, I never get. I'm not complaining. I never get like a whole week of <laughs> celebrations. I Your just, parents aren't divorced, though. <laughs> well, but I I also like my family. It was always like just the one day, whatever. You have a cake, and it was usually like for me. I remember birthdays being being pretty pleasant, but mm. I also don't really care. As yeah. I've gotten older, I've cared way less and less and less about my birthday. To the f- point where it's just it's just another day. Like I'd like it to be a special day, but if it's not, then it's not. Right? For me, it's not that I want it to be a special day. It's that I get so stressed out about it mm. that I can't enjoy it, and then I feel bad for not enjoying it. You know, I, I feel understand like it, I feel that. like it's the one day you can be selfish. You know, and do whatever you want. It's it's being too introspective, yeah, and too introverted. <laughs> I just realized we're recording on the um. On my stream thing, and it has my follow goal on there. <laughs> oh my god! I realized that because I have the chats open, and Stream Elms was like, "Everyone, take a shot of water." So, guys, you have a right now. You're getting a <laughs> glimpse of what my stream looks like. Sometimes, oh lord, we jig jig. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gig just finished streaming. Am I drunk? No, I haven't been drinking. Gig just finished streaming, and then we started recording, so... Just ignore that. Yeah. Ignore the... I mean, I could always crop it, but I think we'll leave it in for we the sake of... In. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but one of the other things related to your birthday was, I bought you a ukulele. Yeah. Like a month ago. Yeah. I was like, Gig, I know what I want for my birthday, and I want it now. Yeah. So that's what happened. Yeah, it was really nice. And you need to start practicing again. Mm-hmm. Just play for fun. Yeah, I used to play when I first got it every day. I'd 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 practice. Practice the chords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to get through that beginner's book and then take some lessons online. Just watch some YouTube videos. Yeah, I will. Yeah. We have our our YouTube our podcast YouTube page open. And I just keep looking at my hair. I'm like, "Wow." Like at the time, I don't think it's nice, but looking back, I'm like, "It's so nice." <laughs> I know it's random, but like mm-hmm. Okay. You're just a cutie all the time. Okay, this thumbnail, Podcast 28, YouTube Rewind, dang, she looking good. (laughs) 
25. 25 things that traumatized us? Beautiful hair. We should do a ghost stories podcast. I'm down. I, I'd i like to look up, like, try and find stories that people have written that are that seem legitimate. Like, people go, this happened to me and I can't explain it. Mm-hmm. You know, I like that kind of thing, where it's like, this is weird. I really liked that um, podcast we did. It was a long time ago when we first started. That was, like, solving unresolved mysteries, where, like, I would read you a story of, like, an un- on the unresolved mysteries subreddit. And then you would tell me what you think happened, like, in a non-scientific way, and then what, like, you know, scientifically probably happened. Yeah. That's, like, not, like, you know, mystical. Well, that's, like, the idea for a podcast. You guys are getting a glimpse at some of our ideas for podcasts. Um, Gig Explains, which I think we've talked about briefly. We've done it before. Have we done it? Yeah. Oh. Ow. Podcast 31. Oh, okay. But I'd like to do another one of those. I love that. Because the thing is... I'm so curious. I gotta know the answer to everything. I'm like, Gig, what's this? And he's like, well, if I were to think, it would probably be this, you know? And he's like, but I'm not 100% sure. But that's what makes sense to me. I don't know. I just love that dynamic. I, well, and I really like going, like, I I like it when you ask a question, too. I think we talked about this in that podcast. But I like it when you ask a question and I can go, not being like, oh, I know the answer, but being like, what could be the answer? And trying to use as much of, like, deductive reasoning and as much logic as I can with as little information as I can yeah. to come up with an answer. Like, I think that's cool. I think that's fun. I really want to get better at podcasts. Yeah. I want to be able to do green screen again. I want to, like, I just have so many goals for the podcast, but we need the room to do it. Yeah. Well, I think we should... Make this a short podcast. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm tired and I have some homework to do. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Well, there's water here. I don't want to open it on, on podcast because it's so loud. It's Oh, yeah. It's like that that meme I heard. Or like, I don't know. There was like a, a video that was like people with, with hydro flasks. And it's literally just the, that it's, sound. It's like, this. Like just over and over and over again. Like it keeps going like on a loop. Like yeah. it never ends. Yeah. Well, it's open now, so. <laughs> yeah, might as well take a sip. Hydra homies, salute, salute, um, oh yeah, a valuable heart sticker, it's hard to see, it's blown out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think we'll call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Um, we love doing these podcasts, even though sometimes we're, most of the time, we're pretty inconsistent with our posts and our recordings. And if you guys have any ideas, please let us know, because... We love hearing from you guys. Um, we have a podcast email, uh, or you can just comment on the YouTube videos. Um, we're trying to update the audio, putting it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, that type of stuff. We are behind, so just bear with us. But if you're watching the video version, thank you. It, I find it more pleasant to watch podcasts that have videos. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I just, I like being able to see the people talk. Yeah. Because I think I have a hard time. Um, sometimes understanding what people say if i can't see their face or see their mouth specifically lip reading yeah <laughs> but anyways I know what you mean. Yeah. um yeah thank you guys for listening and watching and uh we'll see you guys next sunday yeah if you guys have any questions for us like we talk about this kind of stuff all the time on our our streams i'll bring it up again our twitch streams are linked below in yeah, the description it's just our name so like gig morton and erica mckittrick yeah. that's it um we stream almost every single day of the week so uh, check us out, and uh, if you have any questions or just want to chat, we're there. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. <laughs>